Welcome back. This is the third part of our Java of the Java implementation uh, in our attempt to solve the traveling system problem using simulated annealing. Uh, I'd like to uh, mention again here that it, this is not my com it's not completely my own implementation. Rather, the original implementation belongs to Lee Jacobson. You can find more details at this website. What I've done is I've imported the code, made some changes, and um, there you go as you can see it here now the final part here and by the way by the way this is the final part of the whole series as well so the simulated annealing class is going to make use of the remaining classes that we explained before we begin uh, uh, the, our main method by just creating and adding our cities so what we do is create a new city maybe give it a name Paris let's say Paris is you know uh, located at this this X and Y um, and then we add it. We use the tool manager now to add this city, right? And then another city, maybe. Uh, maybe we can call this city one, city two, city three. We just add several cities: Paris with this location, Lyon location, La Rochelle, Porto, and all the way down, right? Uh, several cities, maybe in France. Uh, I don't know why I've chosen France, but it's just an example, yeah. Um, by the way, these coordinates. I, I made this up. I mean, I made them up. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think they actually make sense on the map. But anyway just a way of explaining how things work right okay and then we'll have our initial temperature we set it to a very large value so the temperature maybe 100,000 and then the cooling rate how much we are going to reduce the temperature every time we iterate every time we loop okay and then what happens now is we create a random initial, initial solution if you remember before the tour class we create we create a new tour now an empty tour and then we call the method generate individual where we fill the tour from uh, by using methods in the tour manager and then we just randomize them this method if you remember the one we explained before so now we have our initial solution right it's a random solution maybe we can just print out the total distance if you remember the total distance method that we explained here in the tour uh, class right we'll just display the total distance always remember in the traveling system problem we assume that there's a path between any city and any other city so it's fully and completely connected right okay we'll just print out the full distance and now uh, let, let's let's assume that for example the best solution so far is the current solution and then what we'll do is we'll get in, we'll get a new solution and then compare it to the current solution and see whether it's better or not okay assuming the best solution is the current solution now we start looping by saying loop until the temperature is less than one and if you notice here we cool the system we just decrease the temperature using the cooling rate okay so what we do here is we create a new solution now okay by using uh, the constructor that copies the current tour basically if you remember the um, <coughs> second constructor we had in the class tour Okay, where is it? Here, yeah. And then what we do, we get a random uh, uh, position, random position in the tour. So what we do is we get two random positions in the tour, and then we swap the cities there to make this solution slightly different. Remember, we have a simple change, so we get a neighboring solution. If we get a major change, then the new solution will be maybe too far in the space from the current solution. Whereas if you have a simple change, then um, we can have a uh, simple chain we can have like a neighboring a nearby solution by the way so this method now does not actually guarantee that we get two different positions maybe you want to have a, a loop here that loops forever until the two positions are different right if you get the same position then there's no point of swapping the same city with itself right anyway we move on hope that makes sense what we do is we get the cities at those positions so we use uh, the get city method in the class store the one we explained before and then we just use the set city so we basically swap them right uh, we get the city from the position one we place it at the city of position two and then we get the city of position two and place it uh, uh, in the pl in place of the city at position one as you can see here right set city position two give it city one position one give it city two i hope this makes sense it's quite nice and easy what we do now because the solution now is slightly different than the initial one what we do 
is we get the distance of the current solution and the distance of the neighboring solution i.e. the new solution right we call this neighbor solution this is our new solution and we generate a random number rand and then we call the method acceptance probability from class utility that we uh, explained before we send it the current distance which is the current energy if you remember the neighboring distance which is the neighboring energy and the temperature variable so we can plug it in to um, to solve this equation I'm sorry if you remember before yep and then we compare it to our random value random double we explained this method in class utility if it's larger than random then well we say okay our current solution now becomes the new solution right we accept the solution and then we just keep track of the best solution so far by comparing the total distance if the total distance of the current solution is less than the total distance of the best solution so far then the best solution becomes the current solution yeah and then we continue looping by decreasing the temperature and continuing let me say um, notice now our loop here exits only when the temperature is very low but maybe if we have a certain distance in mind a certain uh, minimum distance in mind then we can exit we can also check for the distance of the best solution so far if it's you know it e e equals the distance that we have in mind maybe a distance threshold then we can exit the uh, the loop right and then in the end the very end we just print out the total distance of the uh, best solution so far and then we print the actual solution itself so if you remember in class 2 we had this uh, to string method what it does it just prints out city names using the arrow so from the beginning from the first city to the second from the second to the third third to the fourth all the way uh, until we reach the final city enough talking let's execute this so remember we added these cities let's run this and if you see the output it tells us total distance of the initial solution is this and this is the actual tour we start at La Rochelle. remember we start again at any random city here uh, but the final solution so far the best one the distance here is five seven three much much less than the initial one and this is the actual tour or route from Paris to La Rochelle, La Rochelle to Nice, Nice to Rennes all the way right if we execute again maybe we get a different one yeah and run again and get a different one run again and get a different one I'm going to stop here the series end here uh, at the series ends here I hope everything makes sense this is what simulated annealing is and this is how it works this is how we can uh, have a simple implementation of it thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next tutorials